I'm your host, Kinetic, and you're watching Game On Ed. Hello and welcome. Today, we're taking a look at two add-ons that aim to help you keep your bags clean and clear. As always, we'll be using add-on control panel to enable and disable as we go. So let's take a look at our first add-on. Our first add-on is Aardvark. All right, so as we can see here, Aardvark starts out by giving you this large button here. Uh, if we hover over it, we can see our options, uh, including middle click and drag to move that. And then we have some other options, which we'll go over in a second, but left clicking will bring up the Aardvark menu. So to start with, we can see all of our options here for the add-on. You can change the scale of the frame, the button, and the action bar, which we will see the action bar in just a second. Uh, you can also disable any of these if you don't want the button to be visible, if you don't want the action bar to be visible, uh, and if you don't want that tooltip when you hover over it. Okay. We also have some slash commands here. In case you have this hidden, you can still bring up the menu by typing slash AVK. Uh, you can run a destroy function, which you can also just put into a macro. Uh, you can clear your list and you can also reset the position if you lose the button or the action bar. Okay, our other buttons here are the cell list. You have a global cell list and then a character specific cell list which you can clear easily by clicking here. You can also click on items to remove them. We'll show that in a second. We have the destroy list, same thing, global and character specific. Protect list, which by default, the author has put in the pet cage. Um, this just keeps the add-on from selling caged pets. So this add-on would accidentally sell them. And just to make sure that it doesn't, it put that in there. Okay, then you have repair options. You can let the add-on control automatically repairing at a vendor. It'll also pop up these warnings if you can't afford the repairs, uh, there was nothing to repair, or if the vendor for some reason can't repair. There are a number of those in the game where they actually have the little anvil icon, but when you click on them, they actually can't repair gear. So this will just let you know, hey, you haven't repaired your gear. You also can turn on repairing with guild funds here. Okay. And then this is just some info about the add-on. Okay, so I've run a couple of dungeons here a number of times just so we can get multiples of the same uh, items here. And we can show how this works. So the very basic of the add-on is you have this button here, which lets you do these functions here. Take a look. You can drag and drop or just click and drop, right? So if we have an item that we get that we always want to sell when we go to a vendor. Now, this kind of stuff comes in handy when you run a lot of old raids or dungeons. Uh, you will get a lot of the same items repeatedly and you always want to vendor them, uh, such as maybe uh, old low-level uh, armor that's not for your armor type or whatever. Um, you're just always going to vendor that stuff, unless maybe you're planning on disenchanting them, in which case just don't add them to the list. But for us, uh, we're not going to be doing that, so we can simply just click an item and then click it into here, and then we get a little message in our chat frame that says that that item has been added to your sell list, and if you try and click it and drop it again, or drag and drop it again, it'll give you another message that says, hey, that's already on your sell list. No problem. So if we open up this menu again and go to our sell list, we now see that we have this item on our sell list. If you add something accidentally and you want to remove it, you can simply left click it and it'll be taken off of the sell list. Um, if you want it to be sold on all characters, like say for some reason you just don't want uh, this at all, you can open up the menu, go to your cell here, and drop it into the global cell list. Or we can look here and see that 
alt drag and dropping uh, will add it to the global list. We hold down alt, drag that in, and now that's on our global list. So a regular drag and drop adds it to the character list and an alt drag and drop adds it to all characters list. So now we can see we've got these items here. So let's go to a vendor. Baladash Malanore. Okay, so by default, we got our gray items sold, but we can also see that we had a bunch of duplicate items all sold automatically because we've added them to this list here. So if you regularly run old dungeons or raids, uh, say every week, you just have to add these items from boss drops and stuff that they always drop the same items over and over. You just add them one time to your list and then every time you run that dungeon or raid, you exit out, you go to a vendor, and it automatically will clear your bags of all of the items that you've added to your character sell list or to your global sell list. Now, there sometimes are items that can't be vendored. They have no sell price, but they are items nonetheless that you just don't want. So let's say we have an item like one of these two that we did here, okay? So we can add these items to our destroy list, okay? We can see here that it automatically switched over to the sell list and added it to the sell list. Now, the reason that it did this is because this item has a vendor price. And so it thinks, hey, don't destroy that, vendor it. So it'll kind of protect you in that way from doing that with items that you may not want to do. Um, but if an item has no vendor sell price, then it will be added to this list or to the global list if you put it there. What that does is anytime you open up a vendor, it checks both of these lists and it sells off everything that's on your sell list. And then anything that's left over that's on your destroy list, it just automatically deletes. So if there's items that you just don't want to keep, Ever that have no sell price, you can just add them to your character or global destroy list. And the next time that you open up the vendor, it'll go ahead and just vendor off the stuff that it can sell and then delete the stuff that it can't. Now, in some cases, there may be things that you don't want to get rid of. Like famously, there's the haunted memento, which is a gray item, but has a cool little feature that it makes a, a ghost follow you around. And so those are worth a lot of money, but it's a gray item. So it would most likely be sold by most bag cleaning add-ons. But in this, you can go to the protect list, add it to your global protect list, and then you don't have to add it on any other characters, uh, any of these items. Uh, it'll just keep them. And if you only want it to be kept on a specific character, like say for RP reasons or something, if you have gray books or items such as that, you can go ahead and just put them into your character's protect list and it'll keep those. So this add-on is pretty simple and straightforward. You just have your sell list, your destroy list, and your protect list. And it's as easy as that. So you've got the options here to add items with just this button to either the character or global list for selling, destroying, and protecting all right from there. So you almost never really need to open this up unless you are removing items from a list. So other than that, it's pretty simple and easy to get going with. And once you fill out these lists, uh, you never have to worry about them again. So if you run the same raids and dungeons, uh, you just do it one time and you're done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy these items back so that we can take a look at our second add-on. And our second add-on is Scrap. Okay, so when we first run Scrap, we get this little tutorial, so we will click through this real quick. You can pause and read if you would like. Okay, so it's showing us the basics. We have a button here to sell junk. You can manually sell items with the left click and you can right click to bring up extra options. So we'll try that in a second. Okay. So to tell scrap which items we want to be scrapped, 
we simply drag them onto the button and then we get a little message in our chat that says that that item has been marked as junk. Uh, they're also in the game menu and key bindings. You can set a key binding, which uh, I recommend uh, because basically all it lets you do is hover over an item and click on the key binding and then it will add it to the junk list. And that lets you not have to do the dragging and dropping a bunch of times. Okay, so in order to see the items that we've marked as junk, we can click over to the Scrap Visualizer tab. We can see the items that we've marked as junk. And then we can also see items that we've marked as useful so that it doesn't remove things. Okay, and that's it for the tutorial there. So we've dragged an item over to the Salama junk. So the next time we come up, it doesn't do anything automatically, but if we click on this, and we can see it sold off that item. And if we add something that we have multiple of, we can click and we can see it sold off all four of those there. But now let's say we want it to be automatic. Death like to all who oppose us. Okay. So we go into the menu here and we simply set it to automatically sell. So this will take away the need to click the button uh, it'll just automatically sell anything on your junk list. Okay. We have the same options as with the other add-on to automatically repair. To choose whether we want it to use guild funds or not. Now this one also has a safe mode, which is nice in case you want to be able to buy back. Um, it will only sell 12 items at once. And then that way, if it accidentally sells something that you need to mark as useful, you can go into the buyback and buy it back. Then we also have Similar, the destroy option for worthless items. These are items that have no vendor value, similar to Aardvark. I believe if you add an item to your useful list that it won't destroy it, but uh, I haven't had a lot of things that I could test that with, uh, so maybe be a little careful using that at first. The easiest way is to take valuable gray items out of your bag, go kill some mobs, and then do a test where you're letting it do this and see if it protects something, you know, add an item that's not very useful, but add it to your useful list and see if it deletes it there. Okay, but now unlike the other add-on, we have some easy filters here. So these let you choose items without having to manually add them to the list, okay? So we can check this. This will basically just vendor off any gear that we can't ever use, right? So if we're a leather wearer, it's going to sell off soulbound mail and plate items. We also have low equipment. So this will be any gear that you have in your bags that's got a much lower value than the one you're wearing. Um, this is good and bad. If you keep items of lower things for specific reasons, like for me on some characters that I run old raids with, I keep a uh, speed gear. So anything that has the speed bonus on it, I hang on to. So even if it's lower level, sometimes it's even like, you know, 20 eye levels lower than than my current character's gear. But if it has the speed thing on it, right, when you're running old dungeons, it doesn't really matter. You're still going to kill everything in one one hit either way. So I take the gear with the bonuses. So I don't use this, but if you don't hang on to anything lower or if, say, you have that gear equipped and you're not worried about it getting vendored off, so if you have it on your character, then it's not going to vendor that that gear. So you can turn that on, open up your bags. It'll check your bags for any low, uh, low gear or junk, and we'll get rid of it. But again, that's up to you. Low consumables as well. This is a little bit odd. You'd be surprised some of the things that it considers low, but it'll toss out old health and mana potions. It'll also get rid of food that doesn't give a significant portion of your health. You can test that out, see how that works. And then you can also just turn on the learning mode where it keeps track of a list of all of the items that you vendor. And then over time, it will start automatically vendoring those items without you having any of these things going, uh, without any of the items being on a list or any of that. Then you can also add glowing borders to items that are considered scrap that you have in here marked as scrap. So we can see they have gray borders here instead of the, the red or blue or whatever it is for their quality. 
And then we also can turn on or off this coin icon uh, that just lets you quickly see. So you may just want the gray border or you just may want the coin. Either way works. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's go ahead and turn on automatic selling and we will start with none of these. We will persevere. Okay, so we can see that it automatically sold off the items that were on our list. Okay, so we buy those back so that we can run some other tests here. Okay, we drag and drop it back on. So if the item was already in our list, dragging it back on or doing the key binding removes it now from our list. So Farewell. we can see if we open Maladash, this up now, Malinore. it won't sell off this item because we removed it from the list. Let's bring up the options again and let's go ahead and mark unusable equipment. A new Bellore Delana. Okay, so it sold off a couple of plate and mail items, but it didn't sell off the this reckoning mail is item. at hand. So the reason that it did that, I believe, is because we dragged it back on a second time, and so it marked it as useful. Okay, so we add it back to the junk list. We will have justice. We'll go ahead and sell those items off now. It, so it seems like once you add an item to either the junk or useful list, all you can do is bounce things back and forth from the useful and junk list. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a way to completely remove it from either of those. So just be aware of that. Anaria Shola. Okay, so now we're selling off all of those items. Okay, so now let's just mark low level equipment. So we can see that it's automatically put a coin on a lot of our gear here. And the problem with that is because this stuff is much lower item level than our current character's level. So we can see that a lot of this stuff would get vendored off and we may not want to vendor all of that. So say with some of these items, we would just add it into the useful list and it wouldn't get rid of that. So these are all the items that it would sell off right now if we reopened this. And you can see how many things it's just getting rid of without us having to do any work, without having to sit and decide through things. So really nice if you're, if you're very minimal and you like to keep your bags as clear as possible. This is just a great quick way to clear out your bags. And then just to be safe, you know, you can turn it back off once you're done farming the old dungeons or raids and you know simple as that one click you can keep your bags clear now we'll try the consumables and we can see that these potions and low level food all got marked as junk so those items would now be sold off automatically if we close and reopen this vendor and then we can just try the usage learning. So let's see how many times we have to sell a couple of items to the vendor before it learns that we just want to get rid of them. Okay, so we tried a few times. Uh, it didn't add them that quickly. So maybe a thing that just over time it takes to learn. So you can play with that feature on and see for yourself. Maybe let me know if you got that working for you or not. But either way, between a lot of these toggles and then having the lists, this is a pretty great add-on. Now, just a note that if you are using a bag add-on, you may have to take a look in, say, the Twitch desktop app or whatever to see if there is a module for scrap that adds this visual stuff to your bag add-on. There may not be one for everything, but I know it works for most of the common ones that everybody uses, but just be aware that some of this stuff may not show up if you don't have that extra module. So we can see here, we can now just continue to go through and check and add any items that we may not need. The reckoning is at hand. Farewell. Our enemies will okay. fall. So all of those items got cleared out of our bags. Death to all who oppose us. 
We will have justice. And then another thing you can do is if you turn off the automatic selling, then you can also just use this to Remember see the items the that you may want to sell off, but not have it be automatic. So we can just quickly go through and clear out any of these low level items. Okay, so a lot of little options here that you can mess around with and uh, set it up for what works for the way that you play and the way that you want uh, the automation to handle stuff or uh, no automation, whatever works for you. Either way, that's two great add-ons that I think will work for most people to help you to keep your bags clean and clear and ready to go for the next Salam round of farming. So thank you as usual for hanging out till the end. I hope to see you in the next one. That will do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed this, remember, pressing the like button is absolutely free. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Game On End.